Oh yeah, um, where was I? Um, hang on, I'm just doing something. Um, right. Uh, yeah, I was um, library. Oops, you weren't supposed to see that. Um, yeah, it probably doesn't matter. Um, where are we, buddy? So we've got all the symbols for Bitey here. Um, all right. Now this is the example I was talking about uh, with with um, v putting variations in the movement. Um, see, he, that's that's one step, one bounce but I've actually made his cycle two bounces long so I can do something different with his hands on the second bounce. See here his hands uh, go down and here his hands stay up in the second bounce. So when you watch it oh, stupid flash with its um, pausing and crap anyway boing boing I'm, I'm very d putting some variation in the movement anyway let's go back um, so that's just what I mean about varying the movement here. There's no variation in his in his cycle whatsoever. So, um, but as I said, I'm not actually going to cycle this animation. I'm just going to uh, I'm going to put that on doubles. I'm not going to cycle it. I'm just going to animate straight ahead through the whole scene um, because it's very very tedious that way but it looks better cycles are great time savers but they do um, tend to cheapen the scene somewhat so where are we right so we're coming into this angle next so after his first bounce I'm going to kind of start to swing him around a little bit into this pose it's still a down shot but it's a bit further away so Maybe I should. Maybe I should shrink him a little bit. The other thing with um, with cycles is that it, it's it's difficult to. Um, oops, undo. It's difficult to uh, cycle cycles. So what was I going to say? The other thing with cycles. Yeah, it's difficult to put um, variation in other movement, not just the body's movement, but where the move, where the body goes. Um, so if I wanted Bite to sidestep through this scene, which I probably will do, actually I might do that now. Boing. Um, I'm going to have him sidestep over here. Yeah, see, I couldn't do that if it was a cycle. Um, he's starting to get a bit smaller because the camera's going further away. Um, he's in the air now. So this is his airborne drawing. What's his hands going to do? I'm going to trail him behind. A bit. This is a down shot, so we don't see his face, thankfully. Um, eyes and hands are always um, the more difficult parts of animating. The, the hair and the hair and the, the full body animation, all that kind of stuff, is the more tedious stuff. But the more difficult stuff is animating his, his eyes and hands because it's got to be you got to be really accurate. Um, and I like to take care with the hands because I hate. I hate seeing animation that just doesn't treat hands nicely. When you when you're talking to someone, you look at their faces and hands. I suppose I don't know. I always look at people's hands when I'm talking to them, just to make sure they're not reaching for a knife or something. You know, you got to be careful. So here he's coming in to his landing pose. He's about to touch the ground. And then the next drawing, he's on the ground. Mm 